Hey, hey! <laughs> so I've never done this before, so let's see if it actually works. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay. <clears throat> so first thing, npm init. All right, go. <laughs> npm init. This now we vim that file package.json. All right. Now we need a little npm start. Oh. Why am I doing it in vim? I don't know. <laughs> it seemed uh, more challenging. All right. <laughs> All right, done. Uh, if you have any mistakes, please yell at me. All right, this, I'm not using that. I'm going to use VS Code because it's better. Uh, let's see. So. Good choice. You need to magnify. I need to magnify. Much better. OK, test. In Lightning, I have my app.js. What I'm going to do is copy paste some code. Yeah. yeah. Copy paste. Look at this. It's not even an IRO function. No. All right, arrow function it. That makes it cool. <laughs> All right, hello. Tell Aviv. All right, sweet, saved. I don't care. All right, we're going to listen on port 3000 because I like that better. OK, let's uh, npm start, see what happened. OK, that's wrong. <laughs> uh, come on, use port at least. Um, Localhost 3000. OK, awesome, working locally. Very, very difficult. <laughs> All right, now comes the fun part. So, Docker. So, Docker file, again, not using that. Um, <laughs> I had all these plans. So, what I'm going to do is um, use the node Alpine, which is the small, small, really? Docker Hub? Okay, I'm just going to assume that if Docker Hub didn't crash, please don't crash Docker Hub. Uh -uh. So, what I'm going to do is say from node Alpine. Okay. So now I'm going to, uh, and then it's going to basically copy, do npm install, but there's not, no packages, so it'll do nothing. Uh, copy everything over, and then run npm start when I run this Docker container. Who has done Docker before? OK, who's done Kubernetes before? OK, good, good, good. Uh -huh. I have Google. I, I work here, so. Oh. <laughs> really? The Google Wi Fi went down. All right, campus speaker. This is part of the live demo, right? OK, S, P, E. Come on. Part of 10 minutes. Part of 10 minutes. Come on, Wi Fi. The Wi Fi is required for cloud. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, instead of building locally and pushing a giant image up, I'm going to use a container builder. It's basically like a thing that builds containers. It's free for most things. All right, build. OK, so it's going to package my code, push it up, and build the Docker container if the Wi-Fi works. Perfect. OK, while all that's going on, let's build our cluster. I'm going to use Container Engine, which is our offering. You can also use like Azure. You can use whatever um, that has Kubernetes clusters create. Uh, cluster one, good names. Zone equals US, why not? One, F, I like that zone. So it's going to create a three node Kubernetes cluster for me. Should probably use Europe, but you know what? That's okay. All right, so let's go back here. And this, okay, it built, and wow, that was way faster than I thought. Yay, Alpine. Okay, so we have our container built and pushed into the cloud. Now we actually have to do our deployment.yaml. Again, not doing that. <coughs> Deployment.yaml. So this is where I'm going to copy this. <laughs> copy. But I'm going to go through it. So what is a kind deployment? Deployments basically deploy pods, which have containers in them. Uh, it's called our node app. Uh, replicas, how many copies we want? Let's say seven. Um, and then the label, so the name, node app. You can put whatever labels you want, like uh, area 51. Yeah, that well, sounds cool. <laughs> Um, and then here are containers. So uh, the name is node app. You can put, again, whatever name. So this is our image. GCR.io is uh, Google's container registry. You can use Quay. You can use Docker Hub, wherever you want to store your containers. So in this build command that we ran before, I pushed it here. So let's copy that, put it in. And I called it 0 0.1 or 1.0. OK. Now it's using container port 3000. Um, don't need this. 
don't need any environment variables because those are too complicated for 10 minutes. Okay, so if we go back and look at our Docker file, uh, we didn't expose the port 3000. That was a mistake. So let's do that. 3000. Sweet. Rebuild. Uh. All right. So now let's look at our deployment YAML. Sweet. We have this done. Let's look at our Kubernetes cluster. Still creating. I should have done that in the beginning. See, that was a mistake too. All right. So now we do our service.yaml. Again, not using Vim. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so in service.yaml is where we load balance traffic to our containers running in our cluster. Where is it? Oh no, service.yaml. Oh, here it is. <coughs> yeah, so again, name, let's call it node app. And so it's going to take all traffic from port 80 and forward it to port 3000 using the TCP protocol. Yeah. Um, so now an interesting thing here is, is the selector. So the selector is going to see what um, containers to forward traffic to. So it's going to say anything with name node app. I can also say area 51 because that's also a tag that we put on our container. But I like this better. And then finally, type load balancer. So on Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, this will actually launch a cloud load balancer for you automatically. So you don't have to do any configuration, which is sweet. Still creating a cluster. Oh, man, that was a mistake. Should have done that in the beginning. OK, cool thing is we have our uh, container pushed up again. So let's take a look at that. How much time do I have? Six minutes. OK. Let's go and look at our container. All right. Oh, this one says it's ready. Is it ready? It's ready. Awesome. Uh, uh, so that's pretty fast. Uh, let's just close this. We don't need UIs. Psh, who needs that? All right. So now let's actually deploy our stuff. So I'll also deploy a service. So use the kubectl tool. Um, let's do a get service. So this is what's currently running on that cluster. Absolutely one thing, because we have a Kubernetes service. So now let's actually go kubectl, create, dash f, service.yaml. So this will create that service by reading from a file. Sweet. Get service. OK, so we have our node app service. It has an internal IP. External IP is pending which is exactly what we expect, because it's spinning up a load balancer. All right, and now let's actually deploy the deployment. <laughs> All right, who can find the error? Let's play that game. Um, let's take away error 51. I don't like that. <clears throat> because it's looking for a string, but it's not a string. It was a number. YAML. Oh. Why you do this to me? All right, so let's go kubectl, get deployment, boom. OK, we have seven already running because Alpine is small. Use small Docker containers, guys. See how fast it is? OK, get pods, boom. Seven of them running in our cluster. Yeah. All right, and the final step. I say that now. Let's see. <laughs> Copy. Ready, ready, and? Come on. <laughs> Let's go. If it doesn't work, just blame the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Connecting. Connecting. Yay! Woohoo! All right, how much time do I have? Do I have time to update it? I have time to update it. All right, we're going to do it live. Let's do it. OK, app.js. Hello, Tel Aviv. It was awesome <laughs> in this city. And no, this is just terrible. You know what? I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I just can't. It's just too bad. Uh, let port equals 3,000. But no semicolons. Screw that. All right. Uh, OK, so what we're going to do really fast is we're going to build that new uh, thing. And we're going to call it version 2.0. And I save. I saved the file. Good. OK, so while that's building, let's edit our deployment. So I'm going to say, Cube, CTL, edit, deployment. Oh, man. Um, what was it called? Node app. OK, so this will actually bring up the YAML in Vim, or whatever you want used to edit. I should probably just switch it to VS Code. <laughs> OK, 
And what I'm going to do is a hack. I'm just going to change it to 2.0 here. Usually you'd write enough different YAML, but no one has time for that. OK? I'm really bad at Vim, too. OK, done. Edited. So now if we look at our deployments, OK, it's rolling them up. Let's look at the pods. It's updating, updating, terminating the old ones, creating the new ones. It's probably good to go. It's good to go. All right. And boom, <laughs> updated. Bum, 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 bum,